Jelly beans, I was about to go to sleep, but I realized you are actually more important. I am here to dispel critical pulse chain FUD. I am not going to risk going to sleep for four and a half hours and let the other soy boys get ahead of us. Ain't no way. We're going to win every single battle of this war. I promise you that. There is critical pulse chain FUD going around. They're going to say that Department of Justice is coming. Ah, ah, the Department of Injustice. So what's happening? Okay, what happened was there's a company out there called TRM Labs. What they do is they blacklist addresses on the blockchain and it is deemed safe or unsafe and then everybody goes off that blacklist. So fake DeFi Uniswap will go on that blacklist and go on their list and go, oh, well, look at this. And then fake DeFi Uniswap will go and follow the rules. They'll go and follow their rules. So there's a company out there called Seller Bridge, right? Notice I said company. So Seller Bridge, Seller Network, they have a bridge out there. It connects between blockchains. And what they did was they were using the TRM Labs blacklist by default and it flagged Pulse Chain. And we're like, what the hell? Why are you flagging Pulse Chain? Now all the fudsters came out, all the scum came out, and they go, ah, ah, Pulse Chain, Pulse Chain. Doesn't matter. People reported to Seller straight away, and then Seller just, what they did was they toggled it off. They go, well, we shouldn't even be really banned. This is stupid. So they removed it themselves. But the key blacklist is still there from TRM Labs. Now, why is this important? All right. So Seller, I was going to call them fake DeFi. Luckily, they removed it. But we're going to go to the critical part of this. All right. So this was posted on Reddit. All right. So just to look at this, William Bruno, OP, very, very nice, kind messages here. So William Bruno has said here, if you go in, Public Pulsican ad addresses were blocked from using Seller because their compliance software, TRM Labs, flagged the Pulse Chain bridge as decentralized investment fraud. So don't worry, friends. This is a fake label, absolute trash. We're going to go through it. All right. So look, Seller configured their TRM settings to ignore the flag after users complained. So TRM is also used by Uniswap, fake DeFi Uniswap. That's why probably they disabled Hex in their front end. Also, now here is just more information, okay? So TRM Labs has connections to the Department of Injustice and it has different ones here, okay? Like, oh, they hired people, etc., etc. So don't worry about that. That makes sense. But also on the bottom, if we go down, TRM flagged Forsage as a decentralized investment scheme months before the SEC and the DOJ hit them. So I went and I investigated for Sarge and I was like seeing, okay, is this exactly like Pulse Chain and, and Hex? I want to see what happened with for, for Sarge, right, friends? I'm going to just to like calm you down. For Sarge was literally a straight freaking pyramid Ponzi scheme from day one run by four Russian dudes. Straight pyramid, straight Ponzi. And they lied. They said the New York of the, the uh, Department of Finance uh, officially approves it. It's government approved. They said it on the website. So I already told you the big key things with that. That's absolutely nothing to do with Warren. No, not even close. Not even close. We're going to go through this, okay? So that's why we're here to get ahead of the FUD. That's why I'm your friend. You like, subscribe, press the bell button and all. I appreciate every single one of you. We are here to shock the algorithm, even if it means I get less than four hours sleep tonight. So look at this. The DOJ went after Fossage. It was bad. Hex and Pulse Chain is real for DeFi. Just got to throw that in. You got to remember that. Fossage was a real Ponzi pyramid. Let's cause, let's look at this. So why was Fossage dangerous? Okay, I already told you this. Okay, number one, they lied on the website. So they literally said, Fossage is approved by the New York Department of Financial Services. So they said, hey, it's safe. The New York Department, you know, straight approves it. So that's a big, big no-no. That's like, that's like you going around saying that you are a cop. And you tell everybody, uh, take off your clothes and give me everything in your safe. I'm a police officer. They're like, nah, uh, uh. Like, you're straight to jail to do that. Number two as well, the smart contract itself. So obviously, they hired some people with checkered shirts who have pens in their front pocket. The literal smart contract, when money went in, okay, you put money in, it literally paid existing people and it was just a straight Ponzi pyramid. It's exactly what happened. So new people come in to pay the people who are already in the system. Ponzi pyramid, 
They raised $310 million. I think they were in three chains. They were in Tron, Binance. I mean, it's crazy, man. So here is Ethereum, Tron, Binance. Right, even says here, right, as of late Feb 2022, the total amount sent to three smart contracts, right, since its inception was $310 million. It was huge. It's funny, I never really heard of it until now. Now, Fassage raised that much. Of course, as well, you got four Russian dudes. That doesn't help, okay? And they lied, said that the government approves that it's big, very, very naughty. Remember, the, the smart contract itself, straight Ponzi pyramid, and they even mentioned here, right, as soon as an investor invested in Forsage by purchasing a slot in the smart contract, the smart contract automatically diverted the investor's funds to other Forsage investors such that earlier investors were paid with funds from later investors. I wonder if this is anything to do with Reflect tokens because Reflect tokens do that. You know, it's just in, something to think about. Now, TRM Labs, they have incorrectly flagged all of Pulse Chain as decentralized investment fraud. This is an atrocity. This is absolute. This is like atrocious mislabel. Okay, Department of Injustice, corrupt TRM. Yeah, that's right, corrupt TRM. Who the hell are you? I want to ask you too. Who got frauded here? No victims. TRM Labs, what are you doing? This makes absolutely no sense. But maybe it's just a precaution because they're like, nah, we don't really know what's going on. We haven't looked into the case. It is what it is. Let's just ban everything. Okay. So even though seller removed it, the label, official label, isn't removed. That I know of. Maybe it is. I don't I don't think so. Just if anyone can clarify, please let me know. So this is just me telling you. It's probably safe to say now that $600 million of the Pulse Chain Treasury, which is still sitting on chain, probably won't be touched. Just in case DOJ are watching, they're like, look, it doesn't look like anything bad's going to happen, but just in case, man, because we're going to look like idiots if it does. You can see it from their perspective. I mean, if, the, if they don't know what's going on, they clearly don't know what's going on. And they're like, look, man, the dude with the top hat who twerks with Louis Vuitton, if we don't blacklist it and then he's able to go and move money around and do something with the funds, well... They're just going to put us next to him twerking and make us a meme. I can understand where they're coming from because they have no credibility after FTX. None. All right. So, you know, I even got this snippet here from Fassage. According to court documents, blockchain intelligence confirmed over 80% of Fassage investors received fewer ETH back than they had invested in Fassage's Ethereum program with over 50% of investors never receiving a single payout and the defendants had at least one account to automatically siphon investor funds into wallets controlled by the defendants. Now, you're looking at the first part. Let me tell you something. I challenge you. Try find me an, a crypto coin, including Bitcoin and Ethereum, with stats that are better than this. You're not going to find it. Most of Ethereum and Bitcoin people bought above Bitcoin 37,000 and above Ethereum, I think 2,700. Everybody's offside. 80% of them are offside. That's right. So, you know, are you going to go sue Vitalik? But, you know, I'm, it's tongue in cheek here. We know, you know, it's not Vitalik. We, we know what's going on. Just being tongue in cheek. But it, it, don't look at this and go, oh, well, everybody lost. Well, yeah, welcome to markets and speculation, man. That's the game. The game is, it's a greater full Ponzi. You need more money, new people coming in. It's like the stock market. That's why the stock market, the baby boomers need to have more kids to keep pushing everything up. They've got to keep printing more money. They can't put in more people, so they keep printing more money. It's all a greater full Ponzi. But we understand, friends, there's nuances in life, okay? There are nuances in life. Let's give the courts a chance to redeem themselves. So we're not going to go hard on them here. But Department of Injustice, yes, okay? You had to back off. These people... It's stupid. I mean, here I am. I'm telling you right now. Soy Bankman Freed used FTX customer funds to buy Soylana and Kraptos. So here I am. Why doesn't TRM Labs label all of Soylana and Kraptos chains as decentralized investment fraud? You know, so you might say to me, oh, oh, but that's different. No, it's not. No, it's not. How the hell can you guarantee me 
that Soy Bankman Freed didn't have other friends who will remain anonymous, who got paid from the Soy Lana payments, who got paid from Kraptos. Can you guarantee me that? No, you can't. If you can't guarantee me that, then go label them. Go label them as decentralized investment fraud. That's exactly what they are. Where did the money go? Oh, I went to the team. Okay. How do you know they weren't working together? You don't know. That's right. Eat your jelly beans. You have no idea. Why aren't they available? Why, why is there no label? That's why here I am telling you. These, these government people, okay. I understand. All right. Half of these are reptiles. I understand these are being controlled. These are on puppet strings. I understand these aren't actually in control. And I understand a quarter of you that try to do anything, you actually can't get anywhere because you're not allowed to actually progress. I understand that. We understand that. I'm just telling you right now. You've made too many poor people, okay? You've lit they've made too many poor people. That's it. That's the game, okay? It's not whether they're good people or bad. I don't really care about that, okay? Reptiles, they just existed for thousands of years. The reptilian, the lizards. You've just, there's too many poor people of us now. You screwed the system, friends. You've screwed too many poor people. That's it. It's inverted now. There's so much of a disconnect between wealth and poor that there's, like a, there's a revolution around the corner. So here I am telling you, please, stop showing your toxic corruption, you scum frauds. It's just too obvious now. The people have had enough. They're a joke. They wake up every day probably praying, well, I hope the people don't riot today because we're on the brink. It's literally on the brink, man. You've destroyed people's purchasing power. You've destroyed all their rights. People have no privacy. Something's going to break. So here I am, okay? The TRM label, you know, it's probably why, you know, Matcha, fake DeFi Matcha, fake DeFi Uniswap, why they've used it. I don't really care. It's trash. They can't stand up for anything because they're little bitches, okay? They're just little cucks. They're just going to bow down to everything. You know, if you're a pest, they'll really have to improve the system, right? They don't, they don't understand it. They think that if they just comply, everything's going to be good. No, if you keep complying to them, they're going to make things worse for everybody, including you. That's why fake DeFi Uniswap and fake DeFi MetaMask, they're being plagued by the government. They're just puppets on a puppet string. They're going to cop it harder. You guys better pray that KYC doesn't come to MetaMask because I'm going to have a field day because I've been joking about that for so long. I get Ethereum maxis attacking me so much, friends. They tag me on these random Twitter Discord, these did a Discords, and they tag me and they go, ha, 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 Shami, I can't believe you're actually not being sarcastic here, ha, ha. Like they, that's how they actually talk, friends. And I'm like, oh, man, I go, these guys better pray to God KYC doesn't come to MetaMask because, oh, my God, it's going to be like, oh. I hope it doesn't come. It's sad that fake DeFi Uniswap still has like honeypots. Literally, you can click buy, you can't click sell. It's 100% loss rate. Think about this. Pulse Chain has no victims. The only victims we have are soy boys who click sell. But guess what? Every other coin has soy boys who click sell. Speculation. What about Vitalik dumping on that guy who put his life savings in Ethereum at the top? From Coinfessions Direct. You're going to go arrest Vitalik? That guy has taken out less ETH than we put in. No, you're not going to do that. There are no victims here. Just cucks and soy boys. So, yeah, we can pretty much conclude that $600 million treasury, probably going to sit still, but it's okay, friends. It's okay because I want it to sit still. You know why? I don't want anybody to be on the brink of selling. But no, oh, there's a treasury. Maybe it's going to be used. No, 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 get them out. Trust me, get them out. Just click out right now. Get them out, leave, stop annoying the rest of us. When the coast is clear and the Department of Injustice is cleared and the corrupt SEC is cleared and Gary Guzla, the semen demon, stops chugging all that soy milk, have a sniff of that. I don't think it's actually soy milk. I think it's something else. Okay. Once they've all been defeated, then we can continue in the bull market and everything's going to be sweet. But that's what we want. We don't want people to have any glimpse of hope because they hold on to their bags. They don't click sell. And that's why I've actually seen the price action that we've seen. That's why we've seen, you know, Pulse. Pulse dropped like 88% from the top. That's why you saw a Pulse X get destroyed like here. That's why you see it. It's because, you know, people are like, oh, oh when are they going to use the treasury? When are they don't, don't, don't. We don't want them to even think about the treasury. Let them get out. Trust me, let them get out. Yes, it's painful now. 
Trust me, it is better for everyone. You get them out. Yes, yes, yes. It's just let them feed all the FUD. Let them click out. Trust me, they come back by, uh, by uh, much higher later on. So let's focus on the positives. I'm going to end with a big, big, big round of positivity here. Shout out to Mr. Crypto B for making this. Do you recall literally, what, 48 hours ago, I called on the Pulse Chain Hex community. I said, we need to start making these images where it just shows all the projects. I want to visually see the city of Pulse Chain. I can't visually see it. When I think of Pulse Chain, I think of me yelling with a straight back, of course, and pointy elbows. I think of people like Johnny Chaos. I think of Mr. Westcott Crypto. I think of even Young Furu, Mr. Finance. I, I think of everybody out there. But what do other people see when they see Pulse Chain? What do other people see? They see Richard Hart twerking. They see scam, scam, scam. They see minus 99%. Okay, well, if we change that, it'll be powerfully impactful. How can we do that? Show them, show them what's actually available on the chain. Here it is. All this, all these projects being built, all of these, and there's more coming. There's there's many missing here, by the way. That's great. Cardano did it. Cardano did it. Didn't even launch a single project on Cardano itself. They all launched on freaking Ethereum and still did 100x friends. Okay. This is super important. This is what you got to do. Okay. I'm going to link this in the Twitter description. Copy paste it, man. Just start scheduling out. Show people. Even if it's not the most up to date, it doesn't matter. Go, wow, look at all these logos. That's what, honestly, that's what everybody's looking at. Wow, did you see this logo? This is red. Wow, did you see this one? This is green. Wow. Shout out to Gerardo. Oh my God. What's this one? Pulse ramp. Hurry cash. It's an orange tornado. Yes, yes. That's, that's all you need to see. We're looking at cities, friends. These are digital cities. And, you know, when you look at Miami, New York, you see big buildings. Yeah, we need ways to look at the cities. This is a different way to look at the city and it's very effective because you want people to know, hey, when you buy into this chain, you're just not, you're buying into something. You're buying into a network of applications, a network of people. Don't worry, the influencer one is coming next. This is most important. They want to see this one first, then they want to see the people so they can dream about the bull market. But you know what else I dream about? I dream that me and you make it all the way to the bull market and you say, you know what, Sir Somi? You're my friend, and I hope that Bitcoin hit 250K, but actually seems like it's stalling at 80K. I'm going to pay you one ETH in friendship, okay? One Ethereum, and I'm going to give you one like, one subscribe, again in the future on an alternative account, because I appreciate every single one of your friends. You don't have to do it. If we make it that far, good on you, okay? Just make sure you look after yourself. I made this video instead of going to sleep, because I, we got to front run this FUD, man. we got to front run this FUD, always front running the FUD. We're going to win every single battle, and then we're going to win the war. Make sure you like, subscribe, tell mom and dad, don't believe the Pulse Chain FUD, TRM Labs, you can suck it. Catch you in the next one.